Let's write the number 10.5 as a fraction. So first off, let's call 10.5, let's put it over one. 10.5 over one, still 10.5, we're just dividing by one. Now we have the start of a fraction. We need to get this 10.5 to be a whole number. And to do that, I can see there's one decimal place, one decimal place, we multiply the numerator here by 10. So 10 times 10.5, that ends up equaling 105, and that's the whole number. But we can't just multiply the numerator by 10. We also need to multiply the denominator by 10. That's because 10 divided by 10, that's just one. When we multiply by one, we don't change the value, just the way it's represented. 10 times one is 10, and now we have our fraction. The decimal 10.5 equals the fraction 105 over 10. We could simplify this though. This isn't in lowest terms. So let's do that. Five would go into 105 21 times. Five goes into 10 two times. So we could say that 105 over 10, that's equivalent to 21 over two. We can't simplify that any further. This is an improper fraction because 21 is larger than two. So let's change that to a mixed number. 2 goes into 21 10 times with 1 left over, bring the 2 across, and the mixed number would be 10 and 1 half. This is Dr. B writing 10.5 as a fraction. Thanks for watching.